free expansion expansion of a gas in vacuum is called free expansion that is p expansion p e x equals to zero isothermal and free expansion of ideal gas for isothermal t equals to constant expansion of ideal gas into vacuum w equals to zero since P E X equals to zero. Also, Joule determined experimentally Q equals to zero. Therefore, delta U equals to zero. One, for isothermal irreversible change, Q equals to minus W equals to P E X into V F minus V I two. For isothermal reversible change, Q equals to minus W equals to NRT LN VF by VI equals to 2.303 NRT log VF by VI. 3. For adiabatic change, Q equals to 0. Delta U equals to WAD. Enthalpy H. Most of the chemical reactions are carried under constant atmospheric pressure. Thus, we need to define another state function which may be suitable under these conditions. Delta U equals to QP minus P delta V at constant pressure. Let us represent the initial state as one and final state as 2. We can rewrite the above equation as u2 minus u1 equals to qp minus p into v2 minus v1 gives rise to qp equals to u2 plus pv2 minus u1 plus pv1. Now, H equals to U plus PV, where H is called enthalpy, that is QP equals to H2 minus H1 equals to delta H. Although Q is a path dependent function, H is a state function because it depends on U, P and V, all of which are state functions. Delta H equals to QP. Heat absorbed by the system at constant pressure. Delta H is negative for exothermic reactions, which evolve heat during the reaction, and delta H is positive for endothermic reactions, which absorb heat from the surroundings.